stop being jealous of the guys who have the SLA printers. SLA printers are what? Resin printers. Oh, resin printers. There you go. We're going to show you how to fix that problem without being one of those people. So what are we going to do today? Same thing we do every day, Pinky. Build some boats. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to E3 3D. I'm Mike. And I'm Sierra. And we make mistakes so you don't have to, because you missed that part. She took the words right out of my mouth, it was moving, you took it. I'm proud of you, dear. <laughs> so, we've noticed we haven't seen you in a while. Um, you know, I, I don't know what's been going on. Why haven't you been around? You don't call anymore? Um, okay, I'm sorry. We've been busy, really busy, um, printing this awesome wall of boats. Not exactly. But we've just been a little bit busy. Anyways, we were talking about... Um, SLA printing or resin printers so pretty cheap not too bad um, it's like a regular printer except it prints in resin wow. well we're gonna show you how to do that but not print in resin we're gonna show you how you can use your 3d printer to make more things other than the wall of boats you know awesome vases you know mini hammers big hammer big hammers And millions of boats. And again, more boats. So we're going to kind of show you how to use the 3D printer um, to maximize things you can do with it. And so the first thing we're going to show you is the skulls. We got this and we found it online, uh, links below, and we wanted to try something new. We heard about resin casting and making molds. Uh, so we found this company. Um, Link below, they're called Illumilite. This is where we get our resin, the color for our resin, um, and then our mold making materials. So we were like, you know what would be awesome? Is if we can make a mold of this. So we used their stuff. Um, we literally, this is the exact one we used. We took the mold stuff, built something around it, dumped the mold inside of it, and boom. Popped this out, went, filled it with clear resin, and then threw, uh, threw some red in there because I wanted a red skull, you know? Captain America. Hydra. So anyways, <laughs> so we got the red skull right here. A um, Couple things we could have done different, but this is the very first thing that we use the mold for. Um, for 3D, this is the first thing that we use 3D printing to make a mold for. Cool thing is, look at the bottom, super smooth and clear. Ooh. The top of it uh it's a little bit cloudy it hasn't been buffed out or anything like that but you can see some of the layer lines um so that's one thing about 3d printing if you don't do any post-processing to it you will see some layer lines in it after post-processing obviously it's going to get smooth and it'll look a lot better so once we did this we decided hey let's move on to something else so what do we got over there so then we decided to go into programs and build our own little resin holders or resin placement holders yeah resin resin holders it's uh so basically we're trying to make a pen blank uh, which the pen blank is the square version or round version for a pen um, and so these right here are this one right here the empty one what you do is you take it and you fill it like this one right here and this is what you get, except it should be uh, square. square. Um, all we do with this is we just take this, put it on there, and all the 3D printed pieces get chopped off. Uh, flying objects happen, so be careful. But yeah, so that's we did that. And if you notice on the empty one there, the uh, that ribbon, the awareness ribbon, comes all the way out. It's flush against the front of it. That way it can be seen all the way through, and which is evident right here. And then you just turn it 
and make it into a pin. And these were some of the first ones, so uh, don't judge us because they, you know, a couple little things that we learned. Now it rocks like a teeter totter. Um, the resin gets hot and it warped the 3D print a little bit. Even though it was under pressure, it still warped it a little bit. Um, so it messes with the images, but something we learned. So then once we did that, we're like, what else can we do? So we have seen that honeycomb, so made a honeycomb. And then we take the honeycomb and we cast it in resin. And you put them all and then you make it into a little pin blank. Yep. And you put little black specks in there so it looks like little bitty bees. And then you turn it into a pin. And then, again, this wasn't going, this isn't for sold or display. This is just a demonstration piece. Um, that's why it doesn't got all the scratches and all that stuff. But this is what it turns into. So this is a honeycomb 3D pen. Um, 3D, yeah. Honeycomb, honeycomb printed... A 3D printed honeycomb pen. Say that th time. Yeah, I can't you even say, say that it. three times. I can't yeah. even say it again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is something that you can do with it. Uh, the cool thing about this is the whatever color filament you use is going to change what the design looks like. Mm -hmm. And so this one we just went with a white with a uh, what you use a gold. Mm -hmm. A gold powder. with black speckles for little honeybees. Little bees in there. So you could do this. So this is one of the few things that you can do. Um, but last but not least. And then as you start realizing what you're doing, um, you start getting more creative. And so start going down a hole of, wow. Now, after trial and error of some things, we've found, no, we've decided to try this idea. So we uh, actually have a company logo in here that we're making uh, pens for. This right here is just a test piece. This isn't what the final product looks like. Um, because we changed it up, this was the first trial. But you notice it's it's uh, inset, yeah. only halfway through, uh, so the logo doesn't come out on both sides because then it's going to be inverted on the other side and it just won't look right. Yeah. So we started off with this, and then we built a box around it, and dump again the Alumilite mold maker mold. Mm -hmm. I think it's mold maker something like that. Links below uh, to their website. Um, only takes 30 minutes, by the way, to get set up. Amazing. Instead of your uh, four hours of resin printing. Uh -huh. So we take this, we build the box around it, and then we fill it with... Um, mold maker. With the mold maker. And then we actually get our mold. Uh, we pull out the, um, the white piece, the 3D printed piece. Remove. Right? Wow. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then is what we do is we fill this right here with the resin. Now this one's been tore up again. These are just uh, small scale uh, trials, but fill this with resin. So what we did is we filled it with purple resin because that's the color the company asked for. Um, filled it with purple resin. And then we had the all the negative space in here uh, like this that we filled with the green. And so we'll take this and we'll drill this out and put it on the lathe and spin it. And the pen will look like this, except one, only one-sided, won't have the double side, uh, but it'll have the company logo on it. This right here, uh, this piece is 100% resin. Uh, we've removed all the 3D printed pieces to it. So you don't have the shrapnel of the 3D parts or the 3D filaments flying throughout the garage um, or wherever your, your materials. But so this is 100% uh, resin and whatever pieces come off of this we gather them up and we make more we, we upcycle it so if you want to see what this looks like where can they see it you can see it on any last one of our social medias we have instagram yep ticky talk that's a new one there's probably not a link to it but you can find there eat tree three designs yep we have facebook and i think we have twitter Yep, this pit will be finished. Uh, we're gonna post the finished product there. Uh, we're gonna post a video of us actually turning this and making this into the pen, and then what the final product looks like um, on our social media accounts. So if you wanna see what this looks like, head on over there. And also, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, ding! Absolutely, and you can still support us on the Patreon. So, if you want a thousand sugar skulls 
a bunch of pens with ribbons on it, company logo pens, honeycomb pens. And a bunch of molds. This is how you do it. Take your 3D printer, stop making boats, or you, you do what you want to do. I'm done making boats. I, I need to do something else with these things. For now. Right. <laughs> Whatever they tell me to do. But like she said, do all those things and check out the social medias uh, to see what the end of the, the end product looks like of this pen. And I... We'll see you in the next video. Sometime soon. Hopefully. Maybe. Cheers.